Remember in our last class, we had introduced the concept to do with the aspect of coefficient of determination. And also part of it, we had also talked about the analysis of variances. We had also talked about the analysis of variances. So in our class today, a lot of us talk about the second part of it, which is in this case, we'll be talking about the standard error of estimate. Standard error of estimate. That is what Molim will want us to handle today. And that is, uh, of course, standard error of estimate. So allow me to erase here. Standard error of estimate is our next concept. So we are talking about the standard error of estimate here. A standard error of estimate. Standard error of estimate is our next concept that I'll want us to handle, commonly known as SE. So the moment you've analyzed the aspect of a standard, uh, or rather the concept of analysis of variances, you'll find that understanding now standard error of estimate will also be very, very easy for us. It will also be very, very easy for us. So how will we go about that? The standard error of estimate, basically, you'll find that uh, anytime you talk of a standard error of uh, estimate, it is going to measure an explained variable proportion, meaning that you are talking term it as what as a standardized unexplained variance, whereby compare when you are looking at coefficient of determination which in this case, it gave us an indication of the reliability of the estimate of total cost based on the regression equation. But it does not give us an indication of the absolute size of the probable deviations from the line established. You'll find that this information that will give us an indication of the absolute size of the probable deviations from the line established, this information can be obtained by calculating the standard error of estimate, by calculating the standard error of estimate. So in other words, what you are saying here, in a very simple term for you to understand standard error of estimate, we are looking at a measure, uh, or rather it measures an explained variance proportion it measures an explained variance proportion. It measures an explained variance proportion. We talked of explained variance, sum of square, an explained sum of square. And also we talked about explained sum of square, which we also termed it as what? Well, explained variances. So we are seeing that the standard error of estimate is going to measure an explained variable proportions, an explained variable proportion. And the key element that you must understand anytime you talk of standard error of estimate, basically, is this formula of ours. Standard error. For you to determine your standard error, we'll be talking of unexplained variances. Unexplained variances, which we also termed it as a sum of squares. We are going to divide by our degrees of freedom. We are going to divide by what is known as degree of freedom. We are going to divide that one by the degree of freedom. Then we should never forget square root. We should never forget the square root. We should never forget the square root. So determining the standard error, determining the standard error, basically we are talking of unexplained variances or sum of squares. We divide by the degree of freedom. We divide by the degree of freedom. So in other words, here Molimu is saying standard error will be equal to unexplained variances. We had already looked at how to determine unexplained variances here, right? So we are talking of unexplained variances, which in this case, we will be talking of, uh, of course, unexplained variances. You have a formula there, summation of y minus, of course, uh, Y bar, that is the explained variances, unexplained variances. 
summation of uh, that is of course y cap never forget squared we divide by the degree of freedom and remember our degree of freedom in this case which is v n minus k that should give us a degree of freedom don't forget square root already we had looked at and explained the sum of squares which is an explained variances so in other words here my good students is saying that for us to determine this v is basically degree of freedom degree of freedom v will stand for the degree of freedom that is our v n here which is a degree of freedom which in this case we term, we've established to be n minus k so n will definitely give us a number of data values number of data values term it as a sample size k will give us the number of constant number of regression parameters that is number of regression parameters number of regression parameters number of regression parameters that will give us our k number of regression parameters that will give us our k number of regression parameters so this is how we can determine our standard error of estimate in this class i'll want us to handle a sample question which will try to explain to us all these concepts which will try to explain to us all these concepts more so standard error of estimate and also we can dig deep into coefficient of determination by considering an question so the question that molimo is going to do i'm going to share it on our screen kindly if possible take a screenshot of the question then you work it out together kindly if possible take a screenshot of the question then you work it out together and see how we can work it out or to cement this knowledge of ours when it comes to the standard error of estimate and this is a question that molimo is sharing on the screen this is a question that molimo is sharing on the screen So let us start with illustration question number one. First of all, for us to be able to understand the concept clearly, illustration question number one. Because remember, all the way, we must have our regression. We must have our regression line. You must have our regression line. You must have our regression line. Anytime you are handling standard error of estimate. Standard error of estimate. So. In illustration number one, we are told to compute standard error of the model of y cap is equal to 50 plus 0.3x for the following data. Y, x, and y, I'm given our data at that point. That is what you are required to do. So, how will we compute? How will we compute our data here? And this is what I'll want us to understand and understand it clearly. Believe that you've taken a screenshot of the question. As well, Molimu can also kind of uh, put it. Hello, Lanas. Uh, welcome again to our session today.